Hello guys, King Therapot here, and today we are going to be doing a video regarding captive Asiatic lions in East Asian zoos. So a lot of lion fans have been coming out making the claim that all these lions in these East Asian zoos, Everland, Zion, China, all these lions here are Asiatic lions, according to them. Let's look at the actual facts here. So let's take a look at SwissInfo.com. So the title of the article is Europe is last line of defense for the Asiatic lion. And in the article, it gives this table that you can see here. Distribution of captive Asiatic lions. As you can see from this table here, you can see it gives the distribution and the number of lions in Asia and across the world. Now, as you can see here, in India, there is a total of 176 Asiatic lions living in captivity in India. In Europe, there is 149 living in in captivity in Europe and in the rest of Asia 22 only 22 Asiatic lions reside in zoos in all of Asia excluding India and of those 22 all of them are restricted to five zoos now, there are dozens of zoos in China alone. There are 29 zoos in China, as well as dozens more across the continent. Now, I actually went to the websites from uh, Everland as well as Zion, China. And if you look at their websites and you look at their touring blogs, you will see in the blogs and in the websites, it specifically mentions they have African lions in their exhibits. They do not have Asiatic lions. Right? As a matter of fact, just recently, there was a pair of African lion cubs born in Everland Safari. On top of this, there was also a pair of twin Korean ligers that were also born at Everland Zoo. Both were a cross between a male lion named Barney, who is an African lion, and a tiger, a female tiger, at Everland Zoo. And to add even more to this, a team of international scientists have sequenced the genomes of tigers, lions, as well as several other cats at the Everland Zoo. One of the lions, an African lion, was genetically sequenced at the zoo, thus reaffirming that these are, in fact, African lions. These two articles can be found at christiansciencemonitoring.com as well as bbc.com. Now, one of the most common arguments of lion fans is that the Asiatic lion is the lion equivalent of the Sumatran tiger. And in this video, I'm going to go and explain why that is absolutely ridiculous. In no way are Asiatic lions comparable to the Sumatran tiger. Number one, Sumatran tigers are substantially lighter in weight than Asiatic lions. The average weight of a Sumatran tiger is around 120 kilograms, which is only slightly heavier than that of the American jaguar. In comparison, the Asiatic lion, according to Brent Strong, weighs around 160 to 190 kilograms. Brent Strong also goes on to say that this is quite comparable to the measurements of adult male African lions, which Schaller gives as 150 to 189 kilograms for lions in the Serengeti. 
So as a matter of fact, Asiatic lions are equal to or only slightly less in weight than that of some African lion populations. In comparison, the Sumatran tiger in no way compares at all to that of Bengal or Siberian tigers. The weight difference between a Sumatran tiger and a Siberian tiger or a Bengal tiger is almost twice the difference. So in conclusion, the argument that lion fans have that it's an Asiatic lion is not really valid because Asiatic lions are almost as big as African lions. And as mentioned previously, none of the zoos where you're seeing these lion and tiger fights have any Asiatic lions anyways. So they have no argument, right? The Zion Zoo, Everland, and all these other zoos that we're seeing these fights coming from, they're all involving African lions. There are no Asiatic lions in these fights anyways. So they're arguing for nothing. They have no argument. 